All right, guys, so I found another cool knife manufacturer, and they're sharp. FYI, like, got, a little, got a little cut, had, had to go take care of with some tape. Always keep tape on you. A Band-Aid's probably even better. We're here with Pierre at the TB Outdoors booth. They got a lot of really cool knives here that's actually designed for the French military that they're bringing, that they have out to market and stuff like that. So he's gonna give us a quick overview of a few of his knife models. Yeah, ahead, so, um, so we're TB, we're a 13th generation cutlery manufacturer based in Cher, France. And we got involved with technical cutlery about 25 years ago when we started making knives for the French military. We still do to this day. <clears throat> here we're standing in front of the CAC knife which stands for Campaign Assistance and Combat. It's a great utility knife that we make for the French military. Uh, it's got tons of cool features. It uh, features the access lock from uh, Benchmade, which makes it a uh, fully ambidextrous, fast one-handed operation. It also features a strap cutter, a glass breaker, a reversible bell clip. We have this really cool tightening system here at the pivot, allows you to determine exactly how much resistance it takes to uh, to close and open the blade, so you can have it as free flowing as you want, or if you want some extra safety, tighten it up a little bit. Uh, it features this really cool seal that we developed for the French military. It's called Nitrox. It's a proprietary nitrogen steel. The best way I can put it, it's ultra user friendly, holds an impressive edge, sharpens very easily in the field because soldiers obviously don't have access to power tools, and it's perfectly resistant to corrosion because uh, again, soldiers. Uh, you know, are around weather, large humidity, yeah. and that kind of environment. Um, so yeah, it's fantastic seal for everyday life, for the, the, the real world. Uh, we have it, we offer it in a bunch of different um, versions, whether it's with the blade, we have straight edge or partially serrated. We have some stealth, um, stealth colors for people who want to keep it a little bit more low key. So we have desert tan, green army, black, or we have also like more like flashy colors for people who revolved around water, snow, so they can find it a bit more easily. Right. Um, it's $135 retail for these, for these knives, which is a really great price point. You get a lot of knives for the, for the price. Yeah. Um, the material, the handle is called PA6. It's a fiber glass reinforced polymer. It's virtually indestructible and yet super lightweight. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful material where it's really great for this, for this, yeah. uh, for this knife. And you can feel like for a knife, this caliber is actually pretty lightweight. It's very we, uh, lightweight. We skeletonize, we make holes in the liners inside to reduce the material and reduce the weight as well. All right. Um, and then they come packaged with this little, this little pouch so you can carry on your belts, on your vest, on the backpack, whatever have you. Cool. Then this was the sort of the first models that we made for the French military, which were a bit more like camping products so that the soldiers could have everything they needed for a meal anytime they, need, they left base. So it comes with a set of uh, flatware, a spoon and fork that stores directly into the handle. So it's very convenient. You have everything in one place. Then uh, on the knife itself, you have a few accessories, a model and can opener, corkscrew, and then your main blade for you know general cutting tests. Now, this is a B-Watch. That was the first knife that we ever made for the French military. It tells for $30. It's a really good price point. And it comes, uh, comes in a pouch, so you have everything in one place. Super convenient. And the second version was the Baroudeur, which was in service from 2000, uh, 2001 to 2017. It's the same concept, just a little bit more heavy-duty construction with a liner lock, but the same sort of uh, accessories that we have here on the bivouac. Right. And it retails for $70. A few different colors available for this. Nice. And then here we have our unboxer. It's our everyday carry EDC knife. The goal was to make a knife as, uh, as lightweight and as discreet as possible so that, you know, it's in your pocket, no one knows it's there and you can forget about it. Um, it features the same cool tightening system as the CAC knife that we saw over there and the same nitrox steel on the blade. So we were able to basically get rid of the internal parts, whether it's the liners or the springs, and just reinforce the pivot and send and use the same PA6 super resistant uh, material for the handle. It's fully ambidextrous, you have thumb studs on both sides, and then you can also reverse the, the, the belt clip with just your fingers. So that one day, if you want to wear it on your vest facing one way, the next day you can just flip the, flip the belt clip and put it on your pants on the, on the other side, on the other side of the bucket. Um, it retails for $75 for the primary colors, so that's blue, the red and the green. Right now, so we also have a version with a black PVD, uh, which retails for $85. Nice. And then lastly over there, we have our survival bushcraft knives. It's called the Maraudeur. 
It's a very heavy duty knife, you know, four and a half millimeters of thickness on the blade so that they can withstand like a lot of ad use, a lot of like heavy duty tasks, mm -hmm. whether it's batoning or any bushcraft, you know, uh, activities that you might do. Again, we have it like in partially serrated or the straight edge and two versions for the handle. Paracord with like 500 pounds of capacity for cheap and scales. Right. And the price points for the king are $200 uh, for the paracord and $230 for the cheap All right. Which is very cool. For this, for this caliber of knife. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, these were, these were designed for the, for the special forces. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you got the holes here for lashing, exactly. doing all sorts of stuff. And so it. this was designed with in collaboration with this guy, Philippe, Philippe Peretti, uh, Perotti, sorry, mm. who was a for, former uh, Special Forces officer in France. So yeah. this cool. collaboration really allowed us to put as much, um, to really maximize, maximize the efficiency of the knife. Right. Make sure it's as, as good as it gets. Yeah, yeah, those guys know, uh, I mean, knife is a tool. For those guys, right? Yeah, so, for sure. Very cool. And some most times, like the knives depend on it, so yeah, we make sure that we make sure it's that gotta perform. Out yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, man, that's some awesome, awesome lineup you got, and uh, looking forward to maybe cutting myself again with one soon. <laughs> like I've said many times about knives out of France, you guys know how to sharpen a freaking blade, surgical razor sharp. That's awesome. Right there proof of it. So. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, Pierre. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's go find another one.